Hi and welcome to our first HTML tutorial. Today we're going to be talking about what HTML is, how tags are used within HTML, text editors, and creating our first HTML web page. So to start with, what is HTML? Well, HTML is a markup language rather than a programming language. And HTML stands for Hypertext Markup Language. The tags used within HTML, for example, the HTML tag itself, is always wrapped in angle brackets, here and here, before and after the tag. And this is an opening tag because it doesn't have the forward slash. To close this tag, we put the angle bracket followed by a forward slash, then the same name of the tag that we just used and then another angle bracket to close it. This is how all HTML tags are made up of, well, mostly. They normally come in pairs. There are a few that don't come in pairs. So that's briefly how tags work. Um, but we need to get started by getting a text editor. So I'm going to show you some different text editors that are free and paid for and you can choose your own depending on your operating system. So most common is Notepad++, very common, available on all platforms I believe. And then, yeah this is a very popular one and that, that's free as well. There's also Sublime Text 2, this is very good, available on all platforms again. There's Coda, which is paid and only available on Mac OS. Text Wrangler, free and also available on Mac OS. And then for Linux, Gedit. I'm not too familiar with Linux. I don't really use it, but Gedit is a very popular one, I've heard. So once you've got one of these, you need to create a new page. So and go into our HTML development. And we're going to create a new file and call it index.html. Index.html is always what's loaded, if you like, from the web server as your home page. And it always looks for an index.html or PHP or something. Something with index in it. But to start our HTML page, we need to open our angle brackets, HTML, and close them. And then we need to do the closing HTML with the forward slash. Within the HTML will lie the header tags and the body tags. So let's go and place these in, and then I'll just tell you what the goes in with the, within each of them. So within the header tags is nothing that's really visible on the web page. Things that go in here will include the title, so let's give it a title. So this will be our web page title. And other things in here go as your CSS or your possibly your JavaScript and meta tags with the description of the content or keywords, the author, stuff like that. And for now we're just going to leave it with a title. And then within the body is where we get our content. So let's just start off with something really simple and give it a, a header tag, h1. Don't forget to close the header tag. And we'll give it a title of my first HTML web page. And now if we right click on this and edit with Safari, this will bring you up to your first web page. And here's the title that we did in the header tags, and here's our H1. As you can see, it's large. So let's go back to our text editor. Let's do a paragraph tag this time. Paragraph tags are just P, and then ended with an angle bracket forward slash and a P. And in here we can put, I am recording my first HTML tutorial. Save that. Go back into our 
browser and refresh the page and you can see that this has come up in a much smaller font size and this is the default sizes and fonts and CSS that applies to these kind of tags we can change the, the CSS and the size and the font but that's for later on when we get into CSS but for now that's really everything that you need to get started with to create your very first web page and practice using the h1 tag setting up your HTML remembering the head the body the HTML tags but most of all remembering the opening and the closing tags otherwise your HTML one will not be valid and then such as headers and paragraphs we can also do h2s now if we oh sorry if we reload this you can see that this one here is smaller than the first one and they go in order really so if we do a h3 and a h4 we can see that these get smaller and smaller and these are great for setting out the heading of some content and then filling in with some paragraph tags but that's all for the first tutorial and we'll continue next time with some other elements such as some links and maybe some images and that will pad out and make our web pages look much better but that's all for this tutorial thank you for watching please comment rate and subscribe and I'll see you in the next tutorial thank you